puppies use biting to explore their environment and set their boundaries with others. As they mature, it's important they learn bite inhibition to avoid misunderstandings and injuries. Animal Wise explains how to teach a puppy to play without biting. Start the game yourself. To start a play session, you should always ensure the puppy is receptive. We need to respect their space and give them plenty of breaks. We should initiate a game with some sort of repeated phrase such as, let's play. In the daily life of a puppy, there will be situations where they demand you play with them and times when they want to be left alone. By showing you respect their boundaries, they will better learn to respect yours. On the other hand, if you always agree to their wishes, they will learn they will always get their way, making correct behaviour modification more complicated. This can cause them to call your attention in unwanted ways, such as breaking things, barking or biting your feet. If your dog asks you to play at one of these times, you need to be indifferent and ignore them, only inviting them to play once they've given up. Teach them not to bite. During play activity, you will need to educate the puppy so they learn to inhibit their bite. Every time they bite you hard, you should say something to make them understand they've hurt you, such as ouch, and then stop playing. In this way, they associate hard biting with the end of fun and better learn to control themselves. Discover the most common mistakes when training a puppy in the info video we share above. Offer puppy appropriate toys. The toys or games you use should be varied to maintain their interest. They need to be safe for your pet, meaning they don't have toxic or other harmful elements. For example, a stick or pineapple could splinter and injure their mouth. In the same way, if the toy is broken or damaged, it would be better to get rid of it, as it could put your puppy at risk by injuring themselves or choking on a broken piece. You should also not allow your puppy to play with everyday items if you don't want them destroying them. These include slippers, newspapers or even furniture. Instead, offer more suitable alternatives. In the card above, we share a video on the best toys for dogs. Teach them games adapted to their abilities. You must bear in mind that puppies should only play games which don't cause them more frustration than release. Intelligence and tracking games must be adapted to their abilities. We need to find the balance between not being too easy to avoid getting bored, but not being too difficult to avoid getting frustrated and associating them with something negative. You finish the game. Similar to initiating play sessions, you should be the one to indicate when a game comes to an end. Once your puppy has lost energy during play, but not when they have abandoned the activity completely, you need to preempt the end of the session. Communicate in some way by saying something like, we're done, and don't give in if they insist on playing. In this way, the puppy learns the activity has a beginning and end, making it easier for them to respect other commands. Lastly, it's recommended they always have access to an area where they can rest and play on their own. When you're unable to play, they must learn to respect your boundaries and it helps them to know they have somewhere to express themselves. This prevents them biting us to demand play. If you want to continue learning about the care and education of a puppy, don't miss the playlist we share here. Share in the comments any issues you have with your puppy biting and we'll see you next time for some useful animal care videos.